Good morning, everybody. Starting out the week with a little bit of peppy music there. What's going on, Tiff? You know, after the big snow day, we need that. That's true. That's right. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of people posting on social media just about getting out and enjoying the snow, which I guess you either do that or you sit inside and complain about it. You got to do it. I love the snow. I think if it's going to be cold, it should just be dumped snow everywhere. Just piles and piles of snow. That's so, because you, know? you don't shovel it. <laughs> I, did, I did, though, this weekend. And I used a snowblower for the first time. Oh, look like, at you. That's actually really fun. There yeah. you go. I know. I know. Growing up. Okay. I got to share with you what today is because there's two very important things that you need to know. Okay. I like that. What do I need to know? Okay. You know that they designate each day as different things. So the first one today is important for everyone, and that is it's change your password day. Oh, yeah, I need to do that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just a reminder that, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is not a good password. You need to change it, nor is the word password. You need to change it. Yeah. And I think the word password is the most common password <laughs> in the country or something like that. I think so too. I think so too. But this one I thought you would love. It is also today, it is Spunky Old Broads Day. Spunky Old what? Broad. <laughs> old gals. Why? Because so you think say. I'm an old broad? Well, here's, I'll read this and you tell me. <laughs> they say, Spunky Old Broads are positive, fun, butt-kicking, mature women over the age of 50 who refuse to sit back and quietly get old. Oh, yes. That, I want to be that. If I'm not already, yes, I completely embrace that. I thought so too. I was like, you know what? I love that. Spunky old broads day. Spread it around. Well, you know what? I remember too, like my grandparents, my grandfathers in particular, that would be a very that's a huge that would have been a huge compliment from from them. She's an old broad. One hundred percent. Yeah. And yep. I had a great grandmother who traveled the world, owned a bar and a bowling alley. She played cards with men. So I always I always wanted to be like her because she was something else. Yep. Yep. Um, I, I got. I had one of those too. Loved it. Yeah, I know. It's they they set good examples. Okay, so Tiff, I gotta tell you that I received some wonderful wedding gifts. Uh, yours, I got a little bit late because you wanted to give it to me in person, and we saw each other at a distance because of Ryan J's birthday party, which is when you gave right. me a wedding gift. And you and Katie, our producer, both gave me a book. <clears throat> she gave me a book about sad oh. animal facts. <laughs> I got to keep bringing that up. Best she, present ever. Yeah. Um, but this book that you gave me, I think oh, I'm yeah. going to show two things today because I think this is one of the coolest things to give somebody who's getting married. And this is one question a day for newlyweds. OK, but the cool thing is what it sparks in terms of, of conversations. I give you so much credit, Tiff, because this I think is so cool. And there are questions like who is more energetic? Give an example. Then it might be something like, describe what would happen if you and your partner switched jobs for the day, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> and then <laughs> deep into the book um, is, um, how do your political opinions line up? And I'm like, yeah, you should probably save that for. <laughs> save that one. Yeah. But you know, here's, it's, it's a line a day and then you compare it year after year, your answers. And I've given this gift uh, before and the couples who have done it, in like years to come, they say it is one of their most treasured and favorite thing. A lot of them keep it right by the bedside and they do it either right before they go to bed or right when they get up, depending on which one they're, they do together. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. My eyes are watering. It looks like I'm crying. It is a cool gift. It's okay. I uh, know you liked it. <laughs> exactly. I do love that book. And I think it's a great thing. It's like journaling to go back and read it. And we ran yeah. out of time, but I have to show this other. And, and along with the beautiful gift certificate, I'm going to talk later about date nights, which I think is such a great um, thing that you said in your card. And we'll talk about that later. Hmm. But this pegboard, <laughs> OMG. In fact, I showed this to my college roommate because we had a I'm in a bad mood sign that we would hang on our door if we were in a bad mood. Then you got to be in a bad mood for a little bit and then you had to snap out of it. But what's funny about this mood alert, alert board, pegboard, is that it's here's how I appear on the outside. So I might appear quite alert or out of it or exhausted or mad. And then how I feel on the inside, but then what I expect you to do about it. <laughs> It's for your husband. It's not for you, really, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day. I love that. I think that's fantastic. OK, we got to move on. But here's our sound off today. Go to our Facebook page and tell us what's the best wedding gift you've ever given or received. All right.